Hi, Hawke here. Uh, I thought I'd create a video response to your questions since um, it has been uh, going on for a while and I can understand how it's frustrating for you. So I've been going through uh, all the comments and um, first thing that I notice is that your backpack uh, seems to be different to the one that I'm using, which is this one here. Um, I've got a magnified uh, photo for, on the chip and um, I'm trying to read it. Uh, the ID on the chip is CF8574T. I'm not sure who the manufacturer is. The little symbol looks like Philips, but I'm not sure Philips no longer exists under that name. So uh, one potential problem might be uh, uh, it difference in the backpack that you're using versus to the one that I'm using. Um, I've also had a look at your uh, sketch on CodeShare, which is uh, this one here, which is the one that uh, I have in my GitHub repository. It looks like it's uh, identical. Um, the inclusions up here. Well, you've got a bunch of different inclusions which I am not familiar with, especially these three here. So I'm not sure which um, uh, which library you're using. Uh, so just so that um, we don't get confused, I'm going to be using uh, this library here, the new liquid crystal library. And uh, here is the URL. I'll put it uh, in the notes. Uh, so I've got that downloaded and installed under my libraries. Uh, so I'm using version 1.6 of my Arduino IDE. So here I've got um, liquid crystal underscore I2C. And if you have a look inside that, you'll see that it's using the LCD header file plus I2CIO.h. So um, this is a prerequisite to pretty much all of the libraries that are required in here. Actually, having a, another look at that, uh, so SRH, uh, SRH, oh, okay, so it, it does look like you are using the same library as me. I don't think that these are required anyway for the simple Hello World program. So what I'll do is I'm going to copy this into a new sketch. And we're we'll asking to save it. So let's save it in a temporary directory in here. Yeah, replace. Problems uploading. Oh yeah, <laughs> I need to connect the Arduino. It's better. All right, check for the board and Uno and port. Yeah, 1411. Let's try again. All right, so this works. Now, as I said from my previous, from, from one of the uh, responses, so uh, this backpack uh, connect or sense data to the LCD screen using uh, pins D4, 5, 6, and 7. So these four pins. I was just using the multimeter to figure out which of the output pins on the uh, IC convey their data pins. And it's these four pins here. Right. So that's how this is set up. Now, to confirm that this is actually happening, I thought I'd make some changes to the data pins on the constructor. So if I go, for example, for this, then let's see, upload. And uh, it is working, but obviously the data are not um, correct as they are sent over to the LCD screen. So uh, what eventually gets to the LCD screen is incorrect. So if I change that to say data pin one, Try again. All right, so the, the data are corrupt. So if I play around with these values and the parameters, um, I'm not getting the correct output onto the screen. Similarly, uh, if I go back and have a look at the 
I squared C dot H file and pick up one of the other constructors. Let's say maybe which one is the simplest? This one here, the one that only has uh, the LCD address. Then my LCD screen address or the adapter's address is um, 27. So I'll comment that out. And just use the simplest possible constructor to see if that will still work. Yeah, it does. You can't probably see it, but I can see here that the words hello world and row number two do appear. It's just that the back lid isn't on since uh, one of these, uh, the, the second value, second parameter is the back lid. So if I add the back lid and upload again, so that gives me an error in compilation. Oh, of course, the next possible constructor requires one, two, three parameters. So I need to also put the one here. That's also the one that affects, that affects the, uh, the backlit. So this is the polarity for backlit. Uh, what's the problem? So T back high, oh. Okay, maybe that should be high. No. So this is looking for an integer as the second parameter. Integer for the second parameter and then it's a T backlight pull for the third parameter. Hmm. Not so not so sure right now, so I'm a bit unprepared for this. <laughs> okay, so it accepted the fourth a fourth parameter, and um, that's working. Uh, hang on, maybe this was it positive. Yeah. Okay. that. Just experimenting a little bit. Uh, so something's happening, but obviously this is not a correct configuration. So what else can I change? If I put a one here, so I've got the um, next constructor with backlit control. I've got um, uh, the address, uh, the enable pin, which is two. So this one is the enable pin. Then I've got the read write pin, which is one. Then I've got the uh, RS, the reset pin, which should be zero. Otherwise the screen will not reset. And at the end, I think this is the mistake I made earlier, at the end I need to have a number three for the backlight pin, and that's going to be a positive polarity for the pin before uh, the screen to be on. So what does it do? Okay, there you go. So something is happening. The data pin is still uh, incorrect. So uh, these four values, it seems to me that are uh, really required. Without them, I'm not going to be sending the data to the correct pins. So I'm not going to be getting a proper readout. So there you go with those on, you get a proper readout. Another thing that was happening um, with, with your problem, uh, another problem that you were having was the difference in the uh, I squared C address that your backpack was listening to. So in my case, it was 27. In your case, I think it was um, 20. And just uh, remind anybody who's looking this at this, that there is an um, ATC scanner sketch. That you can grab from the playground. And download it. So can put it in here, right? 
So that will tell you what devices and addresses you have listening to various I squared C addresses. So in my case, it's 27. Uh, okay, so uh, I think your problem may have something to do with your backpack. It seems based on the information that you have given me that you are using a different backpack to me. And uh, as a result, this library might not be working. Okay, that's that's my best guess for now. Maybe uh, you can confirm that. Um, and um, maybe even uh, send me a link of the place where you purchased the backpack and uh, see if it's any similar to mine and maybe even I can order one of those and uh, see if I can get it to work. Okay, thanks Jorge. I hope this helps a bit.